Hello and welcome. This is Penny Lane with JobCosting.com and today I'm going to share with you my insights about the new receipts feature in QuickBooks Online. First, I'd like to mention that this video was recorded in August of 2019 and as you know, Intuit frequently updates QuickBooks Online features, so if you're watching this much later than that, something might have changed. Right now, this is a brand new, very exciting feature. If you are familiar with QuickBooks Online, you'll know that previously to attach receipts to transactions in QuickBooks Online, we need, you either needed to do that from a saved location and attach it to each individual transaction through the bank feeds or after the transaction was saved, or you needed to use a third party program like HubDoc or Receipt Bank. Certainly this doesn't have all the features of a program like HubDoc or Receipt Bank, but it's very cool. One of the things you want to think about when you're going to use the receipts feature in QuickBooks is what is your workflow going to be? Do you want to just use this to attach receipts to your QuickBooks online transactions, or do you want to use it to actually bring the transactions in to QuickBooks online and push them in from here and then have them match to the online banking? We'll get into that a little bit more in a moment. First, to access the new receipts feature, you want to go to the banking menu and click receipts. This is not in the expenses tab, this is in the banking tab. There are a couple different ways to get your receipts into this receipt queue. You can either drag and drop the files or browse to upload them from a saved location. You can email them to receipts at quickbooks.com or you can use your mobile app. If you're going to use uh, the email and email to receipts at quickbooks.com, you're gonna have to set up the email address that you will be forwarding or sending the receipts from in QuickBooks Online. Because of course, receipts at quickbooks.com is not your own individual uh, email address. How QuickBooks will know that you are sending a receipt that belongs into this QuickBooks file is that your email address will be set up here in the upper right corner in manage senders. Right now I can send or forward email receipts to receipts at quickbooks.com from this email address only. If I want to send them from another email address, I will need to add a new sender. When you go to add a new sender, you are essentially adding a user. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure that you set up the users with all of the restrictions that you might need to. Now this is a QuickBooks online accountant file, so it looks a little bit different, but whether it's a QBOA or regular QBO, you will actually be setting up another user, uh, but you can set them up as a restricted user. The important thing is just that QuickBooks knows that when the receipt comes from that email address, this is the QuickBooks file that that receipt belongs in, which is a little bit tricky for those who manage multiple QuickBooks files. That's one place where I think this feature could be. Anyhow, thinking about how we're going to process these receipts now, I've got some receipts in here. We can click on the receipt. It's gonna take this one right here. And if I'm doing a workflow where I want to work from the receipts feature either because I want to make sure that every transaction has a receipt attached to it or I want or I want to or need to reference the receipt in order to assist me in completing the transaction. So what job it was for, what what kind of expense it is, etc. from the receipt. So when I open the transaction, I can actually see an image of the receipt and from there I can select the payee. I can select the bank or credit card account that the transaction was paid from. I can choose the payment date, which is filled in for me uh, based on the receipt. And of course, I can choose the account and category. And then you can have um, a description. The amount is, is read from the receipt for us. And of course, a memo. Now, when I first got here, I was a little disturbed because I didn't see any place to put the project or the customer job. But once you click Save and Next down at the bottom, on the next screen, you have the option to make the expense billable and select the customer. And you can also put some sort of reference number if you like on here. And when I create the expense from here, that's gonna post the transaction in the register. So then when I go to my online bank feeds, it will be there to match. Now, if I'm working towards just 
getting my receipts attached to transactions that are already posted in QuickBooks. That's the example here. So this receipt is matching to a transaction that has already been posted. And so here I can match the receipt and say, yes, this is the receipt for that transaction. And then that receipt will be attached to that transaction. That is pretty much it. It's a very simple, straightforward feature. And I hope that this can help many of you improve your workflows. I know it's been really fantastic for me. Just a tiny bit about me. I have been a pro advisor for well over a decade. I specialize in QuickBooks for contractors and job costing of QuickBooks. And yes, I am working on a QuickBooks online video training. Right now I have a very extensive video training for QuickBooks job costing and QuickBooks desktop. I've got a Facebook group and a YouTube channel. Um, you are always more than welcome to reach out to me at penny at jobcosting.com. You can sign up for my email list at jobcosting.com slash free dash training if you'd like to be notified of my future videos and articles.